Hey guys, Luke here, your digital concierge at Gramophone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 6000A integrated amplifier from Audio Lab. If you want to make an integrated amp that's truly versatile, it's going to have to cover a lot of bases. It's got to handle digital playback, analog playback, a provision for headphones, and of course, being an integrated amp, it's got to be able to connect your speakers and power them relatively well. Well, the 6000A by Audio Lab has all of those bases covered, so we're going to take a good look at this unit, see why it's able to do all those things, and I'm going to tell you what my personal impressions of it are. But before we break it down, make sure you guys subscribe to the Gramophone channel and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming highlights. First and foremost, we're going to talk about the topology of this amplifier. This is a true Class AB amp, and it's capable of delivering 50 watts into 8 ohm loads, which for a unit of this slim size, that's a pretty respectable number, especially for Class AB. And it's also capable of squeezing out a whole 9 amps into those 8 ohm loads, demonstrating that it really is good for the job. Sometimes these ratings are a little inflated, not so here. They back that up with further information. On top of that, the way the topology works inside of the 6000A is that this achieves a really solid linearity and really good thermal stability by using a technology that they call CFB, or Complementary Feedback Topology. And the way that that works is by keeping the amplifier's idle current separate from the temperature of the output transformers. Powering that Class AB topology is a 200 VA rated toroidal transformer, so they did this the right way using a toroid, that then unloads into 60,000 microfarads worth of capacitors so that this amp has plenty of juice to deliver at any given time no matter what you're playing. And having a really, really good power input like using a robust toroidal power supply with good capacitors attached to that is essential. Just because something has otherwise a 50 watt rating or claims to be class AB and those points may be true, it does not mean it is up for the task of constantly delivering its maximum performance if the power isn't there. But in the Audio Lab 6000A, it certainly is. The preamp circuitry of the 6000A is as simplified as possible so that it gets in the way of your music the least. This uses an analog volume stage that is adjustable from minus 80 up to plus 8, and that switches in either 2 decibel and as you go up the ladder, 1 decibel increments. Audio Lab's design goal here was to keep the preamp as separate from the power amp as possible and to make sure it is not cluttered by unnecessary components and to use only what is essential and what is going to be best for the job, as evidenced by their use of true analog volume. For the built-in DAC and digital processing, Audio Lab has turned to the use of an ESS Sabre chip. For those of you who know that name, Sabre is some of the best off-the-shelf DACs in the industry and they're used in many things, both hi-fi pieces and professional audio gear, and for very good reason. The particular chip used here is an ES9018, and that chip is quite renowned across both the pro and hi-fi industries, as almost every product it has appeared in, it has graced it very, very nicely, and it is no exception here. Sabre's excellent use of their jitter elimination technology and 32-bit processing provides not only incredible resolution, but also a DAC that's capable of eliminating a lot of the artifacts often associated with digital that we don't like. And finally, to complete the package, this also features a built-in headphone amplifier. That way you could put a unit like this on your desk, power some monitors, drive headphones, and have access to many different forms of listening. Whether you want to plug in a turntable and listen to vinyl, whether you want to simply Bluetooth from your phone, or plug in a good digital stream, you got options with Audio Lab. All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you about all the compatibility just listed off that you get with the Audio Lab 6000A. First off, it's going to offer you a phono in for turntables, three analog in via RCA, power amp out via RCA, and four digital connections, two via optical and two via coaxial. You're going to get a 12 volt trigger out for any connected power amps. This has a Bluetooth receiver, so you can use Bluetooth with this device out of the box. And just a note about general compatibility, as I stated before, 
This is a 50 watt and the eight ohm speaker load amplifier. So depending on what speakers you have, it's gonna inform the power output a little bit, but it connects via binding posts that can be used with spades, bare wire, or bananas. Generally, I recommend bananas, but whatever floats your boat. And lastly, guys, the 6000A does include a very nice and well laid out remote that has virtually every function that you could need to access built right into it. And it's got a nice feel in the hand. It's actually a little bit of a heavier, thicker, more denser feeling remote than I was expecting. I think it's a very good compliment. All right guys, so now we're gonna talk about the design aspects of the 6000A, and of course, we'll start with the basics as usual and cover the dimensions. This is 17.52 inches in width. This is 3.15 inches in height, and it is 13 inches in depth. And finally, it weighs 17.2 pounds, which you would expect a little bit of weight in a device like this being built using a toroidal transfer. On the front, you get three rotary knobs. You're gonna have a volume knob, a mode knob and a source knob. Now here's a really cool point. This mode knob is pretty fascinating. You can use this to select how you want the 6000A to operate. Do you want it to be the integrated amp that it is generally intended to be? Do you want to run it as a preamp or do you actually want to separate both the preamp and power amp stages from each other and be able to utilize them separately? That's a pretty crazy feature, but the fact that they give you all of those options is very, very cool. Over here, you have your source select, which of course will let you to go through phono, analog, and digital inputs, as well as Bluetooth. And finally, you have your volume on this side, and this volume knob is nice and tactile, and I really, really did not expect that. That surprise of, hey, this has a nice feel to it, is always something very nice to experience in an audio product, especially something that's got some pretty high competing aspirations, as the audio experience, especially when we're talking about analog listening, is a kind of physical, tangible, and tactile thing. And you want gear that not only has the look and the sound, it is pleasant to operate. Looking at the center, you can see the large, very clear display. That's actually just a very simple white OLED display. So it has great brightness, great contrast for what it's worth, and does the job of being a simple multifunction display, relaying your volume, your input selection, or when you're navigating the internal settings of the device, it makes it very easy to do so. It's very clear with its information. This amp is also available in both a black and silver finish, and as you can see, I have the black with me here today. It's relatively unassuming looking, but it's handsome and understated. And that's generally my preference for audio products to be not too crazy looking, but to be well put together, easy to set out, not draw too much attention, but of course, wow you with their sound and their experience. For just under $1,200, the Audio Lab 6000A is a very, very value packed equation in this kind of entry level hi fi space, giving you an abundance of digital and analog inputs, as well as things on completely opposite sides of the spectrum are so we thought, such as a Bluetooth in and a phono in for using a turntable, and checking all the audiophile boxes, if you will, such as Class AB topology, toroidal transformer, big capacitors, and a true wattage rating that is continuous. The Audio Lab 6000A is ready to deliver and offer you a plethora of great listening options. And if you want to experience that plethora of options for yourself in a package that is small, convenient, and sounds great, head on over to skybygramophone.com and you can order one for yourself. After a secure checkout, it will be shipped to you fast and free straight to your door. Also, please give us a call and stop by one of our showroom locations if you're interested in demoing any of this kind of equipment. You'll find us in Timonium, Columbia, and Gaithersburg, Maryland. And be sure to stop by our lovely Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley as well. You can find us on social media too. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Pals, and Twitter, as well as a couple others. Just check the links down below. If you guys need help coming up with project ideas, need to schedule a service request, or would like to speak to one of our Hi-Fi Home Theater and Interior Design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, ask at gramophone.com if you have any questions for me about anything covered here on the channel. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, put a comment down below, and subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and video needs. And I want to hear back from you guys. Tell me what your experience with Audio Lab is. Are you interested in this product or any of the other ones that they offer? And what would you like to see us review in the future? 
Thank you for watching, guys. Peace out.